views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Hi, welcome. This is Dr. John Martini. This is one of the most amazing and inspiring shows that you can listen into. If you want to be on the edge of your seats, if you want to open up your heart, if you want to expand your mind, and you want to meet incredible people, stay tuned because you're just about to experience a transformative radio show that will change your life. And you're listening to the Dr. Pat Show that's coming up right next. Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. Talk radio to thrive by. Powerful, inspiring, and coming to you live, bringing you stories of people like you and me, busting through and living life full out. Get ready to dare to wonder what your life would be like if you knew you could not fail. Hey, everybody. Wow. Welcome, everyone. I get to hang out today with my friend and colleague, Leslie Fontaine. Sheer alchemy. Sheer alchemy. Um, And, you know, it is so amazing. And I feel so blessed, you know, when I stop for a minute to breathe and just kind of look at things and do it in a way where I don't have the idea, the story, the, the whatever we want to call it, the past drudging of my life. And you know what? I got to tell you, I got a story for just about every day. And today's show is to get the uh, insight and the wisdom from Leslie Fontaine about what it means to change our story, you, 3.0 changing our story Um, and so today we're going to talk about and I can't wait to hear from her I hope she just kind of takes this deal over because this is a time where we get to recognize our own stories our own dramas are we drawing in the same patterns and experiences over and over and over again and not even knowing it not even knowing it but Leslie I want to just tell you about Leslie Um, First of all, she is a regular on the show as a co-host with me and also the host of Sheer Alchemy. She's a transformation catalyst. She travels all over the world. She works with people all over the world. And, you know, she's known for a special experience, the Leslie Fontaine experience and her Abundance Now events. Not abundance like 20 years from now. This is what I like because we got that story, right? We got this story about, "Mm, you know what? I missed my ship coming in. I don't even know. I missed it. It's gone. Or maybe I can have abundance next week, next year, next month, or maybe next life. I heard that the other day. Somebody said, you know, it's not going to happen in my lifetime. I'm going to wait for the next lifetime. Wow. But today it's about talking with Leslie and and being open to being guided, as well as taking down the 1-800 number to get some clearing going on during the show today. 1-800-930-2819. But here's what happens with this. You get to hear something today that's going to help you shift because that's what Leslie helps us with. And then once that happens, it is absolutely sheer alchemy. Leslie, it's so great to be here with you. This is a good one. Oh, it is. It is. This is a good one. It may not always feel good at the time, but you know, when something's presenting, it's ready to let go. You know, I, I, this is kind of, you know, an interesting conversation. I was, I was out with someone the other day who, who was drinking lemon, ginger, cayenne water, hot, lemon, ginger, and cayenne water. And we were out, and they, they didn't have any ginger. And so he got lemon, cayenne water. And we sat down, and he said, yeah, I'm just enjoying my lemon, ginger, cayenne water. And I said, well, I didn't think they had ginger. He said, I'm just enjoying my lemon, ginger, cayenne water. Because in his mind, in his story, he didn't really buy into the fact they didn't have the ginger. It wasn't going to affect his experience of it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's a little small idea about this. But, you know, this is bigger than this, isn't it? Sometimes. It is. I mean, we have grown into our stories and... Possibly we're ready to shift our stories. Some of us have really dramatic stories about our upbringing and what we've been through and, you know, drama, trauma and all that. And this isn't to invalidate the truth of the experience, but 
what is it that we want to stop cycling? What do we want to step into to create the new story? So we kind of want to look at where the hooks are in our field that continually bring in the same experience. Because as you mentioned, whenever I'm speaking and talking to people, you know, they start with their story and I have to stop them. And I go, I'm not looking at your story. I'm not hearing your story. I'm looking at the energy in your field and what the tone of it is and what it is that is continually recycling that same experience so that you can have it again. And what we don't want to admit sometimes is it's sort of a comfort zone. Mm. And, you know, let's talk about this. If you could just please, just for people that may think we know about what you're referring to when you say story, we may or may not. So what exactly is a story? A story is something where, well, let me back up. Mm -hmm. There's an experience in our lives. Um, or there is an interchange between you and another person. And we'll go negative here, all right, because that's where most of us understand the concept of story. And let's say that someone says something or we had an experience and it hurt our feelings or it scared us or it frightened us. And when we start to tell the story, it becomes a part of our experience rather than the fact that it was an event that occurred, there were energies involved, and it drew in a certain kind of experience for us. We start layering it. We start bringing in a certain tone to it, you know. And often when we're telling the story, we're telling it to get a certain reaction out of people. We either want them to be really impressed or we want them to really understand why we can't step into something in our lives or why uh, we keep having the same thing go on over and over and over again or it's an external thing of people out there doing something to me me in here. There's a tone to it. There's a sound to it. So it takes a little courage to break down the story, to hear the tone. So if we asked ourselves to write out that story, that experience, what are the components of it? What's the sound of it? What are the words that are used? What is the intent in the telling of it to generate in someone else or ourselves? And what is the justification behind it, meaning, and so therefore, that's why I dot, dot, dot. So well, so if I say that's why I, can I finish it for a Yeah. So, you know, that's why I, boom. Mm-hmm. Work so hard. Right. That's, I make sure my spouse, partner, husband, wife, whatever it is, has dinner on the table at five every night. That's why I can't do my dream because I have all these responsibilities. Therefore, I'm too tired at the end of the day, too. So it it just becomes layered. You know, I... I grew up, um, well, part of my life, I lived in an actual civil war, and um, my family and I, we learned to, you know, make it a riot of a story. I mean, like, it was so funny. (laughs) And if we took away some of the layers, there were some parts that weren't very funny, right? Mm -hmm. But we learned to make it this big drama thing. So what was the intent of the story. The intent of the story was we're such a wild family. We do crazy things. We're not afraid, et cetera, et cetera. Sometimes when we get into a story too deep, though, we miss some of the things that might have impacted us that are energetic blocks that keep us from stepping into something that we're truly wanting to be, do, and have. Mm. Uh, What would you think? And, you know, I want to just ask you about this in terms of, you know, challenges. What are some of the greatest challenges around our story? You know, why why is it, you know, that for so many, we just hold on to it, hold on to it, hold on to it, and you know, we don't even know we're holding on to it. It may, it may show up, Leslie, in a couple of different, let's just say, disguises, right? Sure. But, oh, I know I've done that. I mean, I, I think, oh, I let go of my story, but then wait, wait a minute, I'm telling the story in a different way, and all your friends around you know you got the same story, but you don't. Sure, exactly. Or they've seen you start to embellish, you know, and Mm. think of the story that you've told for 20 years. You know, that story is almost not real anymore. 
Right. Right. It's become this this thing that has a life of its own. That's one way to recognize a story. You know, well, I came from so-and-so, and I've arrived here with nothing in my pocket, and look what I've made of myself now, la, 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 la. Well, there's a lot of details in there, right, that are missing, and there's an intent in the tale uh, to explain to people something. Sometimes we have a story of, well, I used to be adventurous until X happened, or I used to try new things until this experience happened. So it's like putting an import onto something that, you know, is just really a layer because you want to step back and go, well, is that true? Is mm-hmm. that really the case? Or is this the filter um, through which I saw this? So let me give a different example. On the ancestral sure. level, when I'm dealing with people carrying their family energies, a lot of times they're seeing things through the eyes of the mother or the father and the energies that they were carrying, and they adopted them, and they're not really their own. It's belonging to the parents. So releasing the story sometimes is hard because it's almost like releasing a loyalty, Mm -hmm. an affinity for something that, well, this is how we are. We're Italian. We're Irish. We're this. We're that. We came from Russia. You know, this is our story. So sometimes when I'm releasing people from a lot of poverty energies, abuse energies, things like that, that they're carrying that affect their day-to-day life and the way they see the world, either from the filter of fear or shame or uh, hiding. Uh, I don't want you to really see me. It's all based in some of these stories that aren't necessarily true to who you are. Well, you know, it's funny you bring that up, Leslie. You know, I went my entire life uh, being told pretty much that exactly that, yeah, we're from an Italian family, this is where we're from, and all of that, until, oh, it had to be when I went to see my uncle back in 2003 or something, and I said to my Uncle Al, who knew everybody, I said, tell me why my Aunt May had blue, blue eyes, you know, my grandfather had blue, blue eyes, right, from where Mm. they're supposed to be from in Italy, this part of Italy, and and I said, you know, my mother's got light eyes, and, you know, I don't understand that, Mm. and he said, oh, it's a big secret. Your grandfather was adopted. We think he's Irish. Ha! There we go with that. Now, what do I do with it? Let's take a short break. When we come back, what happens when, oopsie, what if that story we're telling ourselves not true? Mm-hmm. What do we do? Do we disown the family? Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Sheer Alchemy, Leslie Fontaine. We'll be right back. Do you recall not long ago when you walk on the sidewalk? In the stand, remember, all we did was care for each other. But the night was warm. We were bold and young. Tune in to The Truth is Funny with Colette Stephan each Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This hit show will have you thinking outside the box and riding the wave of infinite potential. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success while roaring with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmic joke. Visit TheTruthIsFunny.com. Would you like to remember more of your dreams or understand the ones you have? How about leveraging your sleeping hours to create more in your life? Most of us aren't familiar with this powerful aspect of ourselves. Join Lynn Brown, host of Get Into It, Winning at the Game of Life, at her unique Astral Allies Retreat, September 24th through the 27th. This three-night retreat in the Cascade Mountains includes food, lodging, energy healings, free time in nature, and immeasurable spiritual growth. Email lynn at areyouintoit.com to register as space is limited calling all dreamers are you living your dream life actualize your possibilities with life coaching radio and your host deb stetzer if you're feeling stuck in a rut deb is here to help you turn your dreams into a reality life coaching radio dream it live it be it to learn more about deb visit www.mylifecoach.us 
Holistic Medical Center is where you find it all. A healthy space with doctors who care, see, and listen to the whole you. Hi, this is Dr. Darvish. If you have not found an answer to your chronic symptoms, you will find answers here at Holistic Medical Center. Our doctors find the root cause of your symptoms and guide your body towards healing naturally. We transform lives from within. Visit drdarvish.com or call 425-451-0404. Naturopathic doctor, founder of the Martha's Vineyard Holistic Retreat, and author of the New York Times bestseller, 21 Pounds in 21 Days, Dr. Ronnie DeLuce has helped tens of thousands of people, including celebrities and athletes, with her message of lifestyle change. Now, Dr. Ronnie DeLuce wants to help you. You, too, can be saved. Email Dr. Ronnie DeLuce at info at ronniedeleuceonradio.com and visit mvholisticretreat.com. Dr. Ronnie DeLuce, your partner in wellness. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. It's so great to be connecting with all of you. Sheer Alchemy with my co-host today, Leslie Fontaine, changing our story, U3.0. And, you know, before we talk about, Leslie, about that story that may not be so comfortable for us, how do we get it to become comfortable? Can you just uh, take a minute and, first of all, let folks know how they can find out more about you, how they can schedule a session with you, and then a little bit about where you're going to be traveling traveling to oh goodness all right well you can definitely find me at lesliefontaine.com that's l-e-s-l-i-e-f-o-n-t-e-y-n-e.com you can also reach me at 678-665-3366 i am continuously doing sessions skype and phone i'm going to be in london for 10 days having fantastic events as well as sessions with clients from september 20th through October 2nd, and we'll soon also be in Portland in November and Cincinnati in November. So lots of opportunities to get together with you to work through some of the stuff that you're ready to step through, you know, some things that have held us back in our story that we're ready to step into and change that story. Wow. And I want to just say, for those of you out there that are ready to create that change, um, we have opened up the phone lines if you'd like to call in and get some support from Leslie. And you can do that right now, 1-800-930-2819. And Leslie, say a little bit about the sessions you do, because you get a lot of help. Yeah, I do. And I, uh, you know, I just had a fantastic weekend in Durango, Colorado. It was just, as I would like to call it, off the chain. It was just amazing. People got it, understood it, were ready to make the shift. But I bring in Ascended Masters and Archangels to the work that I do. I basically am asking you a lot of questions. And while I'm asking you questions, I'm reading your field. And we're deciding what you're ready to release. You know, we're holding on to stuff from past lifetimes, current lifetime, uh, our story, as we've been talking about, and also from our ancestral line. And some of this we're ready to shift. We've got agreements with energies that we don't want to hold on to any longer. Uh, we have big plans, big dreams, things we're wanting to step into and create, but things are holding us back, you know, much of what we're talking about today. So I bring in the masters, the archangels, and it's an amazing power team. We start clearing out the debris, the stuff that no longer needs to have a hook into you so that you can step into it. And the results are pretty miraculous. It's amazing. I've decided that September is the month for miracles. There's things that you can shift in your life now, today, if you're ready and if you want to. And often, Pat, the reason we're not shifting is because we're afraid of who will be on the other side of that change. Because our comfort zones are often tied into who we know we are now, how we function, the devil we know versus the one we don't, the experience we're having now versus the one we're not sure of how it will unfold. The assumption is always that source might be like our parents, that it's not going to be good. What if we switch that story and realize that source and unconditional love have everything in mind 
for our highest good, the highest good of everyone involved, for us to transform into all that we are, and the satellite of people that are affected by us are going to be shifted, just like we are, into a much better place. Wow. And, you know, this is really what we're talking about today is, you know, how does this work? How do we go about it? And, you know, what is it that we can do? But one of the things I said before the break is that, you know, sometimes, as you said earlier, we live in this place where the story is not really quite comfortable. It's actually quite negative, And that's the way we see it is quite negative. Uh, and, you know, here we are. How do we take that story and make something else out of it? Right. Well, sometimes we've been awakened, right? And we know that right now with the energetic shifts and so many people are talking about it, so it's not new to us. But so many things are coming up for review, wouldn't you say, in our field, in our experiences, in our partnerships. A lot of the old structures seem to be falling away. Um, The things that used to hold our lives together, all the Band-Aids and strings we used, are kind of disintegrating and so now we're thinking well what am I left with am I nothing but the assumption is that all those things made us something so now we have this opportunity to create something new we have this opportunity to shift but often we're afraid of what we don't know and that's the key the story kind of creates this cohesion in our experience this is who we've been this is how we function this is who we are this is what holds my life together this is the glue and now going forward I don't know how to tell a story about what I don't know and I love that uh, story you told about the tea you Mm -hmm. know that is really how simple it can be is to create what it is that we want to speak into the world now the here's the part i think most people miss pat it's that mm-hmm. once we tell this new story all hell breaks loose inside right <laughs> all this craziness comes up this is the gift of that moment we tend to think oh my god i don't want to go there i don't like these crazy thoughts i feel depressed i don't i feel anxious i'm fearful no this is where we want to go we want to see this stuff that's holding us in place and then ask ourselves do i want to let go of that do i want to release it do i want to clear it then i can step into this other thing but we panic when all that stuff comes up when we think about our dream and we just stop right there yeah yeah, I know I've done it. Oh, I mean, gosh. you know, and and I I had a conversation on air not too long ago where I said I rethought what my challenge is. I said I I used to think my challenge was fear. I said, you know, I've re, I, I've rethought that. You know, my my new thinking is it's doubt. And, you know, it's this idea of doubt which shows up that is just actually unrecognizable when it shows up because it doesn't seem like it is doubt. Right. But but it is somewhere, somehow. Uh, And we have these challenges as well around our stories, don't we? Yeah, we do. And the thing is, I love the word the way you brought that up, doubt, when you went from fear to doubt. Mm. Did you notice how when you said doubt, there was no emotion to it? (laughs) <laughs> and that's the thing. See, that's the key is we don't know what to do sometimes if there isn't some emotion, some uh, anxiety around it, some feeling around it. And that's the stepping into something new. That's the empty place. That's where we get uncomfortable. So often when I'm working with clients, I tell them, you know, one minute is very long. Three minutes is excruciating. How long can we hold an empty space and allow ourselves to begin to fill it with these awesome thoughts, ideas, and plans. You know, can we do it? And then notice everything that shows up and go, okay, is that true? Is that true about what I'm about to create? Do I know that as a fact? No, I don't know that as a fact. I can. Do I want to release it? Well, I'm not sure. Who will I be without it? That's the constant rotation we're going through in creating a new story. You know, this is here part of the conversation about living in that zone where if I don't know the next thing, I am in, I am all automatically in discomfort. Mm-hmm. If, I, if I'm at step one and I don't know step two, yeah, or step three or step four or step five, uh oh, it is going to be an awful night in the old town. Oh and yeah, yet, and isn't that an illusion in itself? 
for yeah. us to believe we actually think we know those steps. Right. It, it is. But we've built that illusion to be as certain and as sure in our minds as, as we can be. You know, and one thing we don't like to acknowledge is how emotional we are. You know, we're, we've got some really heavy emotional bodies. And so, you know, we don't we want to think that everything we're doing is so logical, that there's a reason. So we go and this is why la la la, you know, and it's. Like, the, this is why is a justification or a rationalization for why we are typically stuck, not moving, not going there, not stepping into the new thing. So, like you said, if we took away the story and we said, this is the new thing that's coming up for me from my spirit. This is what I want to create. And, and Pat, you are so awesome about constantly creating your dream. So we, we say, all right, this is what I'm going to do. Then this onslaught of emotion comes, right? It's not right. logical. It's an onslaught. It's like a waterfall. Well, you know, this is fascinating because I said to my uncle, this is the same uncle, Leslie, right? And I said to my uncle, you know, can you just tell me one last thing? You know, can you give me an idea of why everybody got so mad at my dad? And I, and I said to my uncle, I mean, this was your brother. You hadn't talked to him in, what, 30 years. You didn't go to his funeral, do you know why? I mean, what was it? He couldn't remember. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't remember. And I thought for a minute, all right, he's holding back. And, you know, he shared some general things, but he had done the same thing for so long. There was not going to be a trying something new. Mm -hmm. You know, it, the, and, and he was very clear about it. You know, it is the way the family does things. That is the story. It is the way the family does things. You know, what is it about our lives that keeps us so bent on trying something new? What is it about us that we don't want to step away from the same old, same old and try something new? Mm -hmm. Even if we see other people do it, and it's working out pretty good. Let's take a short break. We'll be right back. Leslie Fontaine, Sheer Alchemy. If you want to get some clearing about a story you're carrying with you, a boss, a sibling, a relationship, your story about money, your story about life, your story about the political situation, whatever that story is, 1-800-930-2819. Give us a shout. We'll be right back. Awesome. Enlightening, humorous, and compassionate. Listen live to The Kelly Ballard Show, insight and inspiration from the great beyond. Kelly is a fourth-generation medium and intuitive who covers topics ranging from grief, spirit guides, and listening to your intuition. Kelly can help you get answers and guidance from the other side with a little bit of humor and a lot of healing. Tune in to The Kelly Ballard Show, Thursdays at 1 p.m. Pacific Time, here on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Transformation Talk Radio is dedicated to the education and awareness of Lyme disease. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Lyme Talk Radio. I'm Dr. Pat, joined here by Dr. Nusheen Darvish. Dr. Pat Basili and Dr. Nusheen Darvish will be bringing the most innovative, groundbreaking information, research, treatment innovations, and stories from those it affects every day. I'm so excited to be talking about this. We have so much to share. Dr. Darvish and I are planning to do is connect the dots. People suffering with all sorts of chronic diseases it's time. It is time for them to transform. Tune into Lime Talk Radio and help keep our mission strong. For the loyal listeners out there that have been listening to this incredible show on Lyme disease, we are not going to let you down. We're going to come through stronger and enrich the platform for Lyme disease awareness through Lyme Talk Radio. The message will continue. The conversations will become stronger and the healing epic. Tune 
Tune in to Sheer Alchemy with Leslie Fontaine on TransformationTalkRadio.com and get ready to stir up your passions, identify your blocks, and shift into an entirely new existence. Leslie Fontaine is a transformation catalyst and clairvoyant who uses her intuitive and energetic gifts to catapult listeners into living the life they were born to live. Whether it's shifting from scarcity to abundance, from emotional pain into joy, or from illness into health, Leslie will help you step into the true essence and power of all that you are with the help of the Ascended Masters and Archangels. You will not be the same. Visit TransformationTalkRadio.com for show dates and times and LeslieFontaine.com to say yes to explosive abundance. Hey, everybody, really cool. Leslie Fontaine joining me here today. Sheer Alchemy, changing our story. We've got a couple of callers we're going to bring on. But before we do, Leslie, one more time, let's tell folks how they can find out more about you and uh, how they can sign up to have a a complete session. Because what you do on radio is a short version. Oh, yeah. It does no justice. But, you know, I appreciate so much the callers. And we can talk again later. You can reach me at LeslieFontaine.com. That's L-E-S-L-I-E-F-O-N-T-E-Y-N-E.com. And as you've said, you can look me up just at Sheer Alchemy, Googling that. And then you can reach me also by 678-665-3366. Awesome. So, Mr. Benny, who do we have? Oh, we'll take Melissa calling in from Linwood. Melissa, welcome to the show. Hi. Thank you for taking my call. Hey, good. How can we help you? Um, I wanted to release embarrassment. Ah, where is it sourcing from? I'm not real sure. All right, is it new? Is it old? Old. Okay. And uh, you've got a lot of background noise, Melissa. I'm sure it's, um, we're trying to hear through it. So if we silence it a bit, um, we'll see. So in terms of the um, embarrassment, you're going to have to tell me a little bit about what's going on. Are you embarrassed about your truth? Are you embarrassed about who you are, what you're doing? Tell me about that. um, I'm trying to do some meditation. Yeah. And what came to me is because I was wondering, well, what's blocking me from being able to do my self hypnosis or, you know, to create this book? And um, the words came to me, I think I feel embarrassed. You're and it just was kind of weird how it just kind of popped in my head. Uh huh. Wow. So, um, you know, a lot of times embarrassment is about not um, sharing our truth and not feeling that we can be authentic and stand in our integrity anywhere. Um, And do you have anywhere in your life that you're able to fully stand in your truth? Where I'm able to what? I'm sorry. Where you're fully able to stand in your truth and feel good about who you are. Yeah. Okay. All right. So it's this topic. It's this um, information that you're wanting to bring forward. Who are you embarrassed that will identify you or find you? I'm really not sure. Okay. All righty. Well, here's what I know so far is the neat thing that's come up in the meditation work that you're doing is that you've you've come up with this. And you're going to have to go deeper because I'm, I'm getting some things down in your second and your third, but also, you know, up in your heart space because there's some places that um, it's not been okay to tell your truth. And embarrassment often is when... Um, something about ourselves we've been told is not okay. It's not all right to let people know. It's not okay to tell them. It's not okay to share that. And so right now I'm just coming through and just seeing what kind of release you're ready for. And to be aware that when you begin to speak your truth and you begin to say what is going on with you and the discomfort shows up, that is when you're going to ask yourself, am I ready to let go of this? Because it's in that truth that you literally create the space to be free. I hope that makes some sense, but I'm already getting some release for you a bit. Um, You're doing something new. You're creating something new, and it's pretty powerful for you. 
I'm getting a lot of release in the back of your neck right now and also down in your um, solar plexus and heart space. So if you want to um, call later about it, but that would be great. What I'd like for you to try to do is just to write out what the embarrassment and shame are about and to ask yourself if you're ready to let it go. And then we can bring in the powerhouses, you know, the masters and archangels and help you to release that. So I hope that helps a little bit. And I appreciate it that you were able to call, but there's going to be some deep excavation you're going to experience. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Leslie. Um, Boy, I'll tell you, I was feeling a little bit of that too. Yeah. Wow. Oh, it's amazing. Uh, Benny, I know we've got a couple of other people waiting. Who do we have next? We'll take Kurt now, calling in from Seattle. Kurt, welcome to the show. Hey, Kurt. Hi, thank you. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Hi Kurt. Hi, Dr. Pat. How are Hi. you? Um, I'm okay. I, I was hoping you could give me a little help and insight into uh, a part of my current situation, which is care of my 95-year-old mother for an extended period of several years and um, feeling stuck and um, being unable to find much motivation within myself to to do the work needed to clear the house out packed with her old stuff and I have made very little progress actually and uh, took care of my elderly father prior to that he died now i've been doing this for several year, years and uh you know left my my uh home elsewhere to come and do this and um, okay. so kurt yeah. um what is um how did you decide this was your job how did i decide it was what your job oh well there was no one else to do it and the idea of putting her in a uh, you know an assisted living home Mm -hmm. was um it it hurt my heart it It hurt your heart okay so there's a part of you also that's wanting to create something it sounds like is that true yes and what is Mm -hmm. that that you're wanting to create well uh to find the um the home that I think I'm ready to give up the home I was living in before, and I'd like to find a new mm-hmm. home, beautiful land, and I mm-hmm. have been involved with a a lovely woman for several years mm-hmm. now as well, and, and to embark upon a there, so though that has not been without challenge either, but right. um, the relationship and to pursue my um, my passions more in more focused fashion. Okay, so can I, I'm just going to jump in and, and tell you right now, Kurt, that you are in some massive grief. Um, you know, some of us grieve in advance, if that makes sense. I'm one of those, for example, and then once the event occurs, I'm done. I'm clean. And you um, have such an incredibly beautiful heart that is just showing up, and they're just showing up right now um, to tell you that. Um, I just love how you shared, you know, without any embellishment, it's, you know, your heart, um, you did this, you felt this was, you know, what you were to do, you don't have any regret about it, you don't feel like you're wasting time or anything. The sludge you're feeling, the the slowness to take action is the grief. And so if I was going to work with you right now, I'm just going to go in there because what's happened is when we dishonor some of the process that we're going through and thinking, wow, I'm not functioning, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing that, um, we tend to hold um, the energy and, and hold it against ourselves. So right now I'm just going into your solar plexus where you've gotten very disempowered, all right? Um, and we're just going to just release some of the old agreements and some, there's some heavy energies that are kind of telling you all the shoulds, right? Just, you should be this, you should be that. Why aren't you this? Why aren't you that? And listen, no one else has the story that you have. No one else is walking the path you're walking. This is your set of agreements and connections with your family. And, um, you know, you're doing what's right. And I loved how you shared about the land and what you're stepping into. So here's the thing I'd really love for you to do. Um, Kurt, I'd like you to really state um, 
your truth, just the beautiful way that you did it on this radio, that, you know, you're bringing these agreements into completion with your family. And we want to clear out some of the negative energies in the house, some of the things that are kind of holding you back right now. So I'm bringing in Saint Germain now, and we're just clearing out some of the heaviness in your house. And then I would want you to honor um, the commitments that you've had to to release these um, agreements, you know, to bring them into completion with your family. And then set your vision on the beautiful land. I want you to set your vision on a lot is tied up in your throat space. You're pretty locked up in there. And there's a part of you that almost feels like you have to be very quiet when you're articulating this. I want you to do this every day about what you're stepping into and let's reinvigorate that power center but you don't have to think that what you are doing with your family is at odds with what you're stepping into next okay so let's just release that and we're going to upgrade your agreement with your partner um, bringing it into a higher place beautiful and the work is going to continue after this call but I want you to really just honor your truth okay there's a part of this which you know you've sort of been justifying or explaining to people just honor it you've you shared it so beautifully on this call wow uh, thank you Leslie oh yeah and if you want to talk later please please do but you are such a beautiful spirit in this I mean I am just I'm feeling all over for you and just a lot of honor there's something important about you and your energy so some of us are going through this heavy stuff Kurt some of us just are and and you're doing the work I I thank you sincerely okay thank Thank you you, thank you Leslie would you give out your phone number so folks know how to connect with you to schedule you know a fuller session with you please 678-665-3366 678-665-3366 that's 678-665-3366 now we still have one more caller why don't we go ahead and uh take that call mr benny sure we'll bring on uh christine christine's calling in from seattle hi christine well good mo- good morning to you both all three of you benny included all right <laughs> how can we um, help you today I love this topic, and I love this guest. Um, I just went through something recently with my family, and what I'm seeing is that I am, I said it uh, this last year, I'm willing to give up my role for my purpose. Um, And that is really what's happening, and it's kind of shaking my world a little bit, but one of the things I feel (laughs) about giving up this role with my family, which is so uh, honestly good because it's not going to serve us anymore is that I feel sort of unemployed. <laughs> I'm and sorry. I I, it the, it sounds like you're on speakerphone. You're what about unemployed? She feels unemployed by giving up I the role. Yeah. Okay. All righty. Yeah. I'm not on speakerphone. I'm just oh, kind of okay. Gotcha. Um, so what is the, um, the guidance you've gotten about releasing your role? Well, I think, you know, this is Rosh Hashanah now, I guess. I don't know too much about it. But one thing I did hear is this is the Jubilee year. So this is the year of forgiving debt. Mm. And it's so funny because I feel like I need to forgive the debt of my family holding me in debt in some way. Mm. And, um, And so that's something that I've been guided to do just this morning. It's like let go of let go particularly my sister. So let go of my sister holding me in debt to her. Mm. Wow. So um, that's a long-term commitment? Yeah, well, sure. I mean, it is. But it, it, it offered me some immediate relief. Mm-hmm. And I guess what the reason I'm calling now is because this feeling of being unemployed, like, you know, like when you don't, it's kind of like, I think like when I'm, I, I'm not a mother, but when a mom's kids leave for, for college, you mm-hmm. know, it must feel like, what what now? You know, it's like, but I right. did this for so long, and I and I held this place, and my family has reacted to me in, in this way for so long. That right. now that I'm letting it go, what what do I do now? You know? Yeah. What do you do now? Is it about well, doing it all? Isn't it about you know being? And that's one thing that's going on um, mm-hmm. for a lot of people is we're shifting the paradigm a bit from the the do 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 to the bbb mm-hmm. and allow and when we um allow we have to get um clear about who we are and often that redefinition gets us a little disturbed 
because we've defined ourselves by our role, like you've shared, like by our purpose, mm-hmm. by what others have conceived of us. So when we're releasing mm-hmm. all of that baggage, all the agreements with the ancestral line and clearing that out and stepping into us, I'm just getting a really big opportunity for you solar plexus wise right now and also in your heart space, some tightness in the heart space. Some of this is about attachments and being loved and who you are mm-hmm. without oh, yeah. others. So we're bringing mm-hmm. them in, right? So we're going beyond talking now. And I really want you to go into your energy field beyond the story, okay? And let's go okay. into your energy field right now. And we're just going to just see yourself handing these coils of rope over and back to the, the owners and just mm-hmm. doing it as lovingly and as kindly as you can. There's a lot coming out of your shoulders, a lot in your heart space. There's a little tightness in your solar plexus, which is a bit of the fear. You've been a tremendously powerful person, you know, in the natural, as well as, you know, in a lot of the work that you do. So your heart, what's happening is it's just bursting to start, but it's going to be a bit before the story unfolds for you about who you are truly are now so I don't know where um, there's there's some things you need to write out there is a definite new thing you need to write out about who you are in this restart it's just massive Um, and then don't hesitate to write out what some of the fears are um, what's Mm -hmm. showing up right Mm -hmm. now as you step into it so there's this part of you that's been so powerful and articulate and it's almost like becoming this person who can't even form the words right so just allow mm-hmm. this uh, this space to open up. Don't panic about it. Your solar plexus, though, is is getting a little tight about the definition. So here's what I'd love for you to do. For three to mm-hmm. five minutes every day, I want you to allow yourself, even in a slightly meditative state, to go into this empty space and just allow yourself to draw in what you're attracted to, just to bring it in and to notice some of the good and some of the not-so-good feelings showing up. Write them out, get clear. Okay. Don't do any more than that because it's almost too much. Mm-hmm. And then just see okay. what of the story you want to let go of. It's going to start shifting for you, but don't worry mm-hmm. about the fear of it, okay? Don't worry about that. Oh, okay. Just just call it what it is and go, wow, yeah, that looks like fear. Hmm. Don't judge yourself. Don't shame yourself. Don't start creating well, a project the, plan for the, it. <laughs> yeah, well, one of the positive things that I see about this is that it feels like I'm becoming way too big in in my, like you said, my heart space. Well, the reason that that's happening is because it, it, I, I'm, it's far too much too big to be held in this tiny casing of what I used to think was my purpose. Mm, nice. And so I really take comfort in that, and I really take inspiration in that because I am ready to step more into my purpose. I have a really clear idea of who I am in some regards, but you're right. This is a whole new restart. This is a whole new beginning because I was very attached, very, very attached. I mean, I was the kind of person, if you did something to me, that's one thing. But if you did something to my to my family, I would make the news, mm-hmm. you know? So now it's like it's time for me to let go, and I have been doing some of that work, but I'm very inspired by my heart becoming so big and my purpose unfolding so big that this old way of being is just not appropriate anymore. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for sharing yeah, that, you. Christine. That is awesome, yeah. and it'll be very cool to see what happens at the end. Maybe do this for t- two weeks, 30 days, and it'll be neat to see what unfolds. I love it. Thank you, Christine. Thank you so much. Uh, Wow. Leslie, um, if you don't mind, let's, again, please give out your information to people. So, first of all, they know that what we're doing on air is just a mini and that they can get, they can work with you. It doesn't matter where you're traveling to. Nope. Uh, they can work with you. Uh, all they need to do is call you and get on your schedule and calendar, right? Absolutely. Or write an email <clears throat> to okay. Leslie at LeslieFontaine.com or to my Skype, Leslie.Fontaine. And that's how I'll be doing sessions for a while. Um, but absolutely, we're just letting people barely share their story. And then, you know, there's so much behind the energy of everything that we want to shift and release so the sessions are much more involved than what we're doing here you are so right and please the phone number one last time 678-665-3366 
Wow. Thank you guys for calling in. So a couple things, um, you know, to talk about, because these calls are, we have the best audience and the folks are just amazing. Um, you know, this idea of changing the story, it, it requires a couple of skills, right? You know, you, you touched upon a couple of things, you know, you touched upon, you know, a tone, you know, you touched upon the words we used, you know, how do we do this? How do we go about this? Is there a way for folks to begin the process here on their own. There is. And, you know, honestly, we need to cut ourselves some slack regarding <laughs> consciousness. You know, things yeah. come to our consciousness, you know, in, in waves or when we're ready. And so a lot of listeners right now are hearing certain things in their story and in their drama and in their experience that they're ready to let go of. Other things have not come to consciousness yet. So allow yourself to read it out and then to say to yourself, do I want to release this? Do I want to let it go? And if you sense the fear, who will I be without this story? Then this is a moment of opportunity, not something to shy from, but something to leap into. And that's where the excitement comes from. A lot of people think spirituality is just about getting all peaceful. Oh my gosh, you're in for the ride of your life if you want to step into this stuff. Uh, You know, let's talk about a little fear. And sometimes it's a little fear. Sometimes it's a big fear. It is. But it's that thing, Leslie, where we're worrying about what everybody else is going to think about this change, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's so true. Um, It could be what others will think about. It could be the shame and embarrassment. That's one level of it. The Mm -hmm. other is just the unknown. And and things, often I, I talk about the inner child and work with the inner child in my work because, again, the inner child couldn't drive, didn't have money, didn't have any sufficient means to protect himself or herself. So often that inner child is holding the brakes, you know, keeping us from stepping into something, creating a greater story than there really is in the situation, but it's coming from an old place. So we want to, you know, encourage that inner child going, hey, we can do this. I'm the grown up. We can create this thing. So sometimes we want to check out that story too, which is really, am I that over the top with this one? Or what is this old fear? And am I ready to release it? Wow. Leslie, thank you so very much for a fabulous show today. Uh, And uh, I know you're going to be traveling. I know folks can go ahead to your website, lesliefontaine.com, or they can just Google Sheer Alchemy, of course, and you will pop right up there. And we've talked about a number of things today. And I wanted to just ask you, you know, what is the personal message? What do we want to leave folks with today? And, you know, that next step for everyone here. We've been taught to fear fear. Uh, We've been taught to be afraid of what we don't know. We've been taught to be afraid of what we haven't done before. We've been taught to be afraid of people we don't know, new energies we're attracting, new places we might be guided to go. Uh, We have conscious, you know, we have intuitive insight coming to us all the time about what to step into, and we're afraid because we don't know whether we can trust ourselves or it. So pay attention to all these fear messages and then ask yourself, is it true? Mm. Wow. Uh, Leslie, thank you so much. One one last time, tell folks a little bit again on where you're going to be traveling to because, you know, we've got folks that are listening all over, and yeah. I know they're going to want to catch you in person. I know. Well, I'm going to be in London for a couple of weeks, and uh, then after that I'm, I'm traveling um, – personally you know on on some journeys but will be available by skype for a lot of my clients and then i'll be back in the states again uh portland and cincinnati coming up in november wow thank you and how do they find out more about your show sheer alchemy it's all on my website and they also can go to the dr pat show and to transformation talk radio can't they they'll find me there I mean, it is incredible. Leslie, thank you for all that you do, and thank you for being in such service for so many people. Oh, it's been great, and thank you, too. And I want to thank Benny. Uh, Benny, thank you for pushing all the right buttons today. I want to thank all the listeners out there for being who you are. I mean, so inspirational. And I don't know if you can really grasp this, but every time you call in and you share the way you did today, that heart opening affects many, many people. 
the people that don't call into the shows, but they do, they do hear you, and so do we. Thank you all for tuning us in and turning us on. You can find out more about us at the drpatshow.com, Transformation Talk Radio, and much more. All right, we'll see you in a few minutes with the next hour of the Dr. Pat Show.